Let's go over distribution of dividends and dividends per share. Here is our example. 333 Corporation had the following information on its outstanding stock. We have 10,000 shares of common stock. We also have 5,000 shares of preferred stock that are considered cumulative and non-participating. The preferred stock dividend rate is $5 per share. Information concerning the corporation's dividends. There's two years of dividends that are currently in arrears. Arrears means that dividends are owed to the stockholders. 155,000 worth of dividends are declared or were declared by the board of directors. This problem requires that we distribute the dividends and determine the dividends per share for each class of stock, both for the preferred stock and the common stock. So let's get into it. What you want to do is organize a chart or a table to keep track of what is being distributed to each shareholder. First, we're going to go over the arrears. Arrears is dividends owed from the past. In this case, we have 5,000 preferred stock shareholders times the dividend rate of $5, and they are owed two years in arrears. This will give you $50,000. Keep in mind that if the preferred stock was non-cumulative, that amount would be zero. Now we have to award them or give them the current dividend, which is 5,000 shares of preferred stock times $5. And this is always one year because the current dividend is the current year. This will give us $25,000. You want to total those dividends paid out to the preferred stock so total dividends paid to the preferred stock, that will be $75,000. Now we have preferred stock all paid out in respect to dividends. The remainder goes to common stock. Remember that the board of directors in this problem declared 155000 worth of dividends. You want to subtract what was paid out to the preferred stock shareholders, and then your remainder is for the common stock. So 155,000 minus 75,000 equals the remainder of 80,000 to common stock shareholders. Let's calculate dividends per share. You take the $75,000 of dividends paid to the preferred stock and you divide it by the number of shares. You do the same with the common stock. What they're given in respect to dividends divided by the number of shares. For preferred stock, we have $15 per share, and for common stock, we have $8 per share. This is important for valuing the stock.